So I recently just moved and in that process of moving, I realized that I have a lot of cannabis product. Um, I knew I had a lot, but a lot more than what I was realizing. So in this video, I'm going to go over all the different cannabis products that I currently have on hand. And trust me, it's a lot more than what you would expect or even imagine probably because I actually work in the cannabis industry if you don't know that and because of that I get a lot of um, perks and benefits discounts bonuses freebies and so on and so forth so because of that I have more product than I could possibly consume um, but that with that being said I definitely want to go over what I have consumed eventually but in this video I think I'm just gonna go over what I actually have here on hand the smart thing would be to just uh, open these up and kind of arrange them in the order of uh, in order of category um, but I think I'm just gonna go through each bag or box at a time because that's gonna take me a while to uh, categorize all this stuff. Actually, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna categorize all this stuff together. So that means I need some boxes or containers of, of some sort. And I definitely have a lot of that. Oh, you know what? I think we're gonna use this. I'm gonna use these for now. have one for edibles probably need two for edibles one for carts carts <laughs> forgot about forgot about this guy so this is what I hold all my carts in it's not the best uh, solution at all I'm definitely gonna get an official uh, cartridge holder because um, yeah this isn't quite working out and it's not sterile it's not clean um, I know that they do make sterile cart holders where you can keep your cartridges and everything stays nice and bacteria free because I think the material is made out of stainless steel which uh, tends to do a pretty good job of not collecting bacteria. So carts. Bud. Do I need two for bud? Probably because of the size of the containers. Uh, concentrate. I think I could fit all the concentrate on one tray. What else am I forgetting? Topicals, tinctures, random stuff. And I have two of these left. Hopefully I don't have to use them. Speaking of topicals and tinctures, I actually forgot that in my bedroom on my nightstand. I have a couple of tinctures, three tinctures, and another cart. Oh yeah, and I got some stuff in here, and here, and this entire dab tray. <laughs> so we're gonna clear all this stuff out so I can make room. just start uh, one bag at a time um, this one's kind of empty uh, let's see here I think what I'm gonna do is use this tray to dump all this out snickerdoodles from uh, tree town well not plural just one snickerdoodle this is one big cookie uh, this has a hundred milligrams 97.43 to be exact no CBD, just a straight up THC cookie. These are nice and soft. I'm surprised that this is still soft because um, usually baked goods, they can go a little stale, but uh, yeah, you could feel the softness of this one still, surprisingly. So we're gonna put this in the edible pan. Continue with edibles. This is a Kiva bar. This is a blackberry dark chocolate Kiva bar. Also 100 milligrams. 
Um, to be exact, this has 90 milligrams total of THC. I'll throw some images from our Instagram up on the video so that you guys can see what that looks like, a better close up. Follow us on IG if you're not already. This is a sample of Polaris, one gram of Polaris. This is from Lemonati. And Lemonati is one of my favorite companies here in terms of uh, flower. And this is coming in at 23%. Not too bad. Some pretty looking bud. Let me go ahead and open this up for you guys. Polaris. This is a eighth of bud from Apothecare. Apothecare does certified kind organic bud. So uh, it's basically like the USDA version of being uh, certified organic, but for cannabis. And there's a little booster pack in there, freshness pack. I uh, can't really see that too well. I'll show you guys a better look on the iPhone here. So this is, what did I say this was? Oh yeah, I didn't say what this was. So this is truffle butter. And you can see it has some uh, nice purple color to it. Pretty trichomey. Uh, this is coming in at 21.3%. And we'll put this over into the weed basket. This uh, is empty. This is the only empty thing that we'll see here, but this was Gakua which is uh, Lil Wayne's brand. I'm gonna do a video on this because uh, I was pleasantly surprised. I typically stay away from celebrity weed just because it's usually not what it's uh, cut out to be or what you would think that it would be. But uh, yeah, I was surprised with that. This right here is a pre-roll from the same company as before, Apothecare, Dual OG, just a basic pre-roll, but uh, certified kind of organic. I personally think that these do smoke better. The bud itself smokes better than your typical bud. You'll always get that white ash from them for sure. And in these grinders, I might not have anything left in here. This was some GMO, I believe. And this right here is some Moroccan Kush, if there's any left in here. Nope. Smoked it all. This one's not even all the way open. Cotton clouds, choice jewels, hard candy. These are freaking awesome. I don't recommend these to anyone that's trying to microdose or anyone that's trying to actually measure out your doses because these uh, hard candies tend to break up or stick together. So it's really hard to actually get proper dosage out of hard candies. But if you're a veteran and you're not really too concerned about a 10 milligram difference here or there, these are freaking awesome because I feel like they kick in a little bit better, stronger and faster than your typical gummy. And I think it has a lot to do with the fact that you're taking this in into your saliva rather than just digesting it in your stomach. This is Waterberry right here. This is a hybrid. This is also a hybrid. And this is a sativa, cherry limeade. All these are 100 milligrams, not full spectrum, just straight up THC. Put these in here, and I could already see these baskets are filling up too fast. Uh, Straw Nana pre-roll from Cloud Cover, another one of uh, my favorite companies here. Quality flower for sure. I think they just stopped making THCA. I think they're sticking to uh, other types of concentrate or just flower and pre-rolls here. But anyway, I really like their packaging. I talked I talked about this earlier today, but it tells you the cross here. So this is a cross between bubble gum and banana kush and that will give you straw nana and this is coming in at 36.34 percent in, to in total cannabinoids thc is coming in at 31.83 so this is some potent uh this is a potent pre-roll for sure next bag got some wonka bars here uh, not much left in there at all coming in at 26 percent this is a willy shishkaberry <clears throat> this is a sea cell dart pod some of you might not be as familiar with dart pods as you are with uh, 510 thread carts. But it's basically just a distillate cart. Well, this isn't just a distillate cart. This is actually full spectrum. So when I switched over to trying out these darts, I didn't realize that they're full spectrum and I just fell in love with them right away and I didn't know why. And it was definitely because of the extra cannabinoids. So this has 87.5% THC, a little bit of CBD, 1.5 grams of CBG. I'm not sure what CBC is, but I have noticed that anytime there is a good amount of CBG, I tend to like that strain a lot. And then this has a total of 92.2 yep, hybrid dart pod, 87.5% THC, 92.2 total. So carts we're going to put here. Sorry if that was loud. Caminos. So these are, uh, Camino is road in Spanish, I believe. These are 100 milligrams. 
This is uh, made by Kiva, the same company that makes these. I don't even know what these look like. Uh, let's go ahead and open these up with you guys. If I can slice that. Probably gonna have to slice this open too. There we go. It is a screw on top. Oh no, it's not. Screw on and pop off. Ooh. I was not expecting those to look like that. Let's try one. The flavor is awesome. Straight up, the flavor is awesome. But I would say that I've tried a lot of gummies. A lot of gummies. Probably more gummies than any other type of edible. Probably done more gummies than anything. And these in particular, I feel like these are um, more gelatinous, so to speak. They remind me more of jello than gummy. That should make sense to you. Yeah. It was more jello than gummy. I do like how they look too. This one stands out Royal Bar. So these are freaking awesome. I've never had a bad Royal Bar, that's for sure. This is from High Life. Um, I haven't I haven't tried this one yet. I've been saving this. It's way past 4th of July now, so I don't even know what I'm saving it for. I definitely want to take some pictures of it and put it on uh, the IG. But yeah, considering it's past 4th of July already, I kind of miss that. But this is a white chocolate bar. I do want to show you guys what this looks like. Though. Yes, I got it open without breaking anything. Because I'm going to try and put it back in so I could film... Uh, Get some photos. Yeah, this looks awesome. And then on the back, Pop Rocks. Yes. So Pop Rocks, white chocolate with, looks like blueberry drizzle and raspberry. Uh, it says cherry, lemon, and blue raspberry with strawberry popping candy. So Pop Rocks. All right, next up. So I specifically bought these pre-rolls for a pre-roll video that I plan on doing in the future. So all these should be different types of pre-rolls for the most part. So this is mint chocolate chip and it's a blunt, a dispensary blunt. So this is a uh, hemp wrap instead of tobacco. And these smoke great. It definitely convinced me to uh, go back to smoking blunts every once in a while for sure. But hemp wrap blunts, not um, tobacco. And this one's coming in at 29%, 28.85. So I've been putting these in the flower bin, but we're gonna put these in here, pre-roll bin. Wow, oh, this is really special. Crude Boys, Tarantula. If you guys don't know what a tarantula is, you, you are missing out. I promise you, you are missing out. So let's pull this bad boy out carefully and you'll see why. So on the outside of that, that is Keef. So these pre-rolls are dipped in wax and rolled in Keef. And in particular, this one is Kitchen Sink and GMO. Coming in at 22.5% with 0.5 CBD. Another crude boy, different strain though. One of my favorites, Kitchen Sink with Northern Lights. So the bud in here is kitchen sink and the keef that is on the outside, that's Northern Lights. This one had me feeling hella good. I had to buy three, I bought three of these, this exact one. And this is coming in at 23%. Percentages don't really matter, but I know some of you guys care, so. This one is kitchen sink and gelato. And this one's coming in at 20%. See all that keef. Next up, we got, so this is Gorilla Glue, another apothecary certified kind organic blunt, or not a blunt, is this a blunt? I think this is just a straight up pre-roll because I wanted a organic pre-roll, yep. So that is our organic pre-roll, and this is probably a traditional pre-roll. Rare Michigan Genetics Alien Cream Cookies. I heard really good things about this. I haven't tried it yet though. And this one's coming in at 27.5%. You know, nothing special. Just a regular pre-roll, but like I said, I heard that the effects are really nice for uh, indica smokers. All right, next up we got garlic cookies. And this is an infused pre-roll with THCA. So you can see right here, the THC percentage is 29.87, THCA 31.5, and then it has the total being 32.26. And the name of this company is Epic Roots but the brand is uh, Dope AF, as you can see right there. And the AF stands for uh, 
affordable flower, I think, or uh, something not as cool as what you would think that that would stand for. <laughs> Got another one, garlic cane, for a total of 25%, at 21% THC, and total of 25%. Front 9 OG, I believe this one's more of a sativa leaning. This one's 24%, or maybe it was this one, Snow Lotus. Yeah, I actually tried, I bought two of the Snow Lotuses, and uh, I believe this one was more sativa leaning. I bought three of the other one, the very first one that I showed you, the garlic cookies. Yeah, that 32 percenter. I bought three of those. All right, on to a new bag. This bag is unopened, actually. But it feels a lot lighter than... Um, I think this is just chocolate. A lot of chocolate. All midnight bars. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, believe it or not, I had 12 of these at one point. <laughs> I got a couple s'mores, a couple chocolate bananas, couple blueberries the blueberries are where it's at these are where it's at these s'mores uh, these s'mores are a little bit older so the graham cracker on them is starting to get a little stale but hey they still do the trick for sure and then the chocolate banana and there's actual chunks of chocolate or blah, of course there's chocolate in it but there's actual chunks of banana and graham cracker and blueberries they're pretty pretty decadent look at that look at that graham cracker and marshmallow and then on the other side you'll see that these are sectioned off to where you can microdose or regulate your doses and you definitely want to regulate your doses with this one because these are all sitting right around 200 milligrams of THC so these are nothing to play with unless you're a veteran. I mean, I know some people that be doing like 500 milligrams of edibles. Honestly, I feel bad for, for anyone that has to do 500 milligrams of edibles to feel something, but um, they exist. I mean, heck, to be honest with you, I feel something with a good 10 milligram hard candy. <laughs> so it's not like uh, when I do a 200 milligram one of these that it's not really affecting me. No, trust me, it's affecting me pretty hard. <laughs> I just make sure that when I do do uh, a 200 milligram bar, they're few and far in between. Like I'm not doing this every day or anything like that. It's uh, for special occasions or specific occasions, I should say. Let's put these in here. Ah, our edible bin, it's getting full. Another unopened bag. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. So I'm not gonna be able to dump this out. I'm gonna have to pull these out one at a time. Kaneko, Blondies, Salted Coffee. Salted Toffee, not coffee. Mojos, I forgot that I picked these up. Oh man, these are basically like Snickers. They look like Snickers, but cannabis infused. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to try those. Uh, brownies, best of both worlds. So Brookies, brownie and a cookie, I believe. Rich fudge brownie meets chocolate chip cookie. Yes. <laughs> Tree Town, Rice Krispie Square. I used to make these back at home with my buddy, Timmy G. We used to do uh, Fruity Pebbles, Rice Krispie. We've done Cocoa Krispies, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Golden Crisp, which were the worst ones that we did. I thought the Golden Crisp were gonna be good, but yeah, that was really disappointing. I forgot I picked these up too. So these are Quickies. By the way, all these are 100 milligrams. So Quickies, these are supposed to kick in faster than your typical edible. It says fastest high in the Caniverse. Fast acting edibles, but yeah, these are hybrid. Um, I haven't tried these yet, so I have no idea um, if their claim to fame is really something to talk about, but we'll try them eventually for sure. <laughs> True North gummies. So these are pretty popular uh, where I live at. I picked this up because of the, the artwork here. So it's a guy being abducted by a spaceship. <laughs> uh, the flavor of this is Cosmic Kiwi. Comes in two pieces, 90 milligrams total, so about 100 milligrams. But again, I just picked this up because of the packaging. More Waterberry hard candy. Uh, more hard candy. 
Uh, indica blackberry lemonade. More hard candy. <laughs> More of the cherry limeade. I already ate the green apple ones. These are full spectrum gummies from Funky Extracts. We got cool blue watermelon, fruit punch, and cherry. They also happen to be fat free, gluten free, low sodium. But yeah, full spectrum cannabis. These are just little sample packs, so the packaging on here, but this is actually a sock. And that's why they call it funky. <laughs> and then they have some uh, dab dripping off of the sock there, but yeah. Not sure how appealing that is to other people, but I know it's not very appealing to me. But most important thing is the effects. And I hear that the effects of these are really good, And uh, but I haven't tried them yet. So I'm looking forward to checking these out for sure. So yeah, that was my big bag of edibles. And I think we're just gonna leave this tray intact as is. Just stack that on top of my other edible tray, like so. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the small box. I got some Moroccan Kush here. So this is what was in the grinder. No, this isn't Moroccan Kush. This is a uh, Super Lemon Haze. And this is coming in at 26.2% from Livewell. So far, the bud that I've seen from Livewell and that I've tried from Livewell has been pretty good. Kind of impressed with that company for the, for the quality and the price. Another one from Livewell, Peach Crescendo. That's coming in at 24, 25%. Cushmints. So this was screwing up my allergies when I was packing this bud. This is coming in at 28.5%. I was about to open this up and show you guys, but I'm not kidding. Like this really messes up my allergies. <laughs> Why did I buy it though? Because it is some of the keefiest stuff that I've ever seen. So it's not like I'm actually allergic to this. It's just that it's so keefy the freaking keef gets into the air and then it gets into my nose and I have a very sensitive nose. So yeah, my allergies just start going nuts. So I'm gonna have to be careful with this one. Purple Punch. This is a, uh, Purple Punch is one of my favorite strains of bud. Uh, this is a half gram V-Fire cart. I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with V-Fire in the other states, but V-Fire is pretty popular here in Michigan. Uh, this is just a half grammar. So normally these would be filled up to here and this guy would be sticking up here. But yeah, this is Purple Punch. It's an Indica. The way that they package their boxes, all the purple ones are Indicas. These uh, reddish orange ones are Sativa. This is Big Lemons. Just brand new carts uh, just sitting here, um, untouched, unused. This one has 88.7 for total cannabinoids, 74% for uh, THC. These are basically just distillate carts, nothing crazy. But when I do pick up V-Fires, it's because of a specific strain that I'm looking for. This one's coming in at 75.7%, uh, 88 .7%, for total cannabinoids. Even though they don't call these full spectrum, there's definitely, for example, this one has a lot of other cannabinoids in it, an additional 15%. They don't call these full spectrum, but they have a lot more in them than your typical distillate cart. These are mints. Um, I'm not a fan of any of these mints, to be completely honest. Uh, I didn't realize that. I've had these for a while. I probably still will have these for a while. They're strong though. Uh, this one is, almost five milligrams per mint. This has 21 mints in it. Same with this one. This is a 200 milligram pack and uh, each mint has three milligrams per. So depending on how you microdose, you know. Now we got some tinctures. This is a one-to-one. -one. I think I just finished off this bottle actually. Looks like there, there might be still a little bit left, but no, not really. This is a one-to-one, -one, uh, one part THC, one part CBD. That was from Tree Town, the same makers of those uh, edibles that I showed you. That Snickerdoodle and the uh, the Rice Krispie Square. A 500 milligram CBD bottle, and I believe this is the same. Nope. And this one's a 1,000 milligram CBD bottle. Both from Mary's Medicinal. I do uh, CBD uh, right before bed, and uh, usually when I wake up, depending on how I feel, but yeah, definitely uh, right before bed. Definitely helps me with my sleep. Um, another mint chocolate chip blunt. So because I have an extra one of these, I'm definitely gonna be smoking this tonight after this video. Yes. Or maybe I'll smoke this in this video. Three more pre-rolls here. This one is from Harbor Farms, uh, Mac. It's just Mac. 
This one's coming in at 23.7%. Just a straight up pre-roll. I am a fan of Harbor Farms though. Their concentrate in particular. I haven't tried their bud. Actually, no, I did try one of their other pre-rolls, Kimbo Kush, and that was really good. So I'm looking forward to this Mac. Uh, trade sample. So yeah, this was given to me. Um, this is from Beaverton and this is citrus slurricane 15 percent the citrus slurricane has a lot of terpenes in it like you could definitely smell the citrus in it same thing with uh most of beaverton's flower specifically orange cushman's grape pie and that citrus slurricane rollo's too yeah i just recently did a rollo's dog actually that's hilarious this is what this is so uh this rollo's was a dog walker and this was the first time that i ever smoked it so if you don't know what a dog walker is, here in Michigan they call, or at least this part of Michigan, they call uh, these little two packs of pre-rolls. There'll be a half gram pre-roll for each, and they call those dog walkers because you can take a little half gram, take your dog for a walk, and come back and you still have a half gram left at the house. I don't, ha I don't own any dogs or pets, so I don't really uh, vibe with the whole dog walker <laughs> thing, but... Um, yeah, that's what they call them. CBD transdermal patch. I have not tried one of these yet. I gave one to my dad. He still has not tried one. But the feedback that I've gotten from people that have tried these say that if you cut these into fours, you still get a pretty nice effect. But yeah, the next time I have some back issues, I'm gonna put a whole patch on that area. Put this in there for topicals, tinctures, and patches, and transdermals, and there we go. I don't know which one has more, that one or that one. That one looks like more of a mess. Let's go with that one. Let's open up this bag first. And it's a bag full of dart pods. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh man, what am I dropping? What am I dropping? What was that? Is there anything in there? Yeah, it looks like there's something in there. So I'm pretty sure there's just two flavors here. Uh, well, there might be three. So you saw the uh, Willy Shishka Berry. That stuff makes me fall asleep. Uh, this Watermelon Kush, not so much, even though this one's uh, Indica dominant and the other one was a hybrid. Uh, this one's coming in at 75.4%. Oh no. And let's look at the CBG in, in here. This has one gram of CBN or 1% uh, CBN and 2.7% CBG, 1.7 CBC. So this has a lot of the uh, the others here. Let me see what that shishka berry was. Oh, I got, I got another pot in my hand. This one's definitely full. No idea what that is. Probably peanut butter breath because I remember a peanut butter breath clogging on me and not being able to smoke it. I mean, you can, it's just more work. No, maybe I mixed these up. Maybe it was the shishka berry that didn't make me fall asleep and it was the watermelon kush that did. Cause that would actually make more sense. Peanut butter breath. This is coming in at uh, 78, 77%. It's a hybrid. More peanut butter breath. More peanut butter breath. Watermelon kush. More peanut butter breath. Peanut butter breath. Peanut butter breath. <laughs> Okay, Dolce de Leche, uh, Salted Caramel, Dolce de Leche, a couple more tinctures, a one-to-one. -one. This is great for people with, uh, what's that? Crohn's. I have a friend that has Crohn's and I don't think that she takes anything like this, but this is supposed to help with that. Not in terms of like getting rid of your Crohn's, but helping with the symptoms. Another 500 milligram bottle of CBD. This one-to-one -one was uh, 300 milligrams of CBD and 300 milligrams of THC. Hey, it's more of those mints that I don't like. And more. Breath spray. <laughs> this is from Choice. It says it's fast acting within 10 to 15 minutes. And this one's uh, Indica Cinnamon, 2.5 milligrams. I have not tried one of these. Should we try a spray? Oh, that looks complicated. You gotta break this off, I think. No, I'm not gonna do that now. So yeah, breath spray. Toothpicks. <laughs> oh man, I have so much crap. Okay, so yeah, um, MKX, cannabis infused toothpicks. These are hybrid. 
This one's a fruit punch, and let's see what it says here. Suck on one end of the toothpick for five to six minutes, flip and repeat. Bite slightly to imprint your teeth on the pick and release the next layer. When flavor starts to fade, bite to release remaining ingredients. Effects expected within 25 minutes. Yeah, I've not tried those, so uh, I can't really report on these, but I have had some of the bud tenders try these, and they actually say that these work as advertised. So <laughs> I'm really interested in about, about those. Uh, Barracuda Bar from the Detroit Fudge Company. This one's dark chocolate. And this is 185 milligrams, so this is definitely from the medical side. That's the medical limit here in Michigan, 200 milligrams. That's gonna be the strongest that you'll find, at least uh, last time I checked. Let's see, uh, these look pretty nice. Why is my camera not fine? All right, uh, fudge, trade samples, not a trade sample, not a trade sample. Um, also from Detroit Fudge Company, and our bin, <laughs> our edible bin is, uh, come on, come on. Oh man, okay, continuing on, cushy punch gummies. Now, um, to be straight up, I have not tried these, and um, the reason being, I probably never will. Um, these are just CBD gummies. Maybe I will try them, but I hear that they taste awful. But considering they're uh, CBD, I don't have any CBD gummies other than these, so maybe I will give them a try eventually. But yeah, I hear uh, bad things about these. <laughs> this flavor is peach. Sea salt, dream edibles, peanut butter, dream edibles. These are also a uh, gluten, GMO, soy. Yeah, gluten, GMO, and soy free. This is a gift that I'll be sending to a friend. Does float trips. And yeah, you keep your dab in here, which um, the person I'm sending this to doesn't dab. A little dab tool as well. Actually, this is a, this isn't a dab tool. This is actually a poker. Yeah, meant for clearing out your, clearing this out and packing down joints. But of course you could use it as a dab tool if you wanted to. All right, and then I have a bunch of lighters and a max battery. So, oh, there's a pot in here too. It's empty. This was Italian ice which was my favorite Max Pod that I've ever done in my life. Um, this is probably my favorite battery that's uh, full size. Yeah, this is probably my favorite full size battery. Unfortunately, I don't have any uh, Max Pods available where I work at. So if I ever want to do Max Pods, I have to go purchase them on my own somewhere else. Um, are they worth it though? I feel like they are. Um, just because it's a different form factor. I feel like they just hit better than the V-Fire. And V-Fire is designed to do exactly that, hit better than the uh, 510 threads. But the thing is, I don't have a full-size uh, V-Fire. This is actually a V-Fire Mini. What do I have in here right now? This is uh, pineapple and sherbet. Uh, if you if you're still watching this video I think I saved the best for last I appreciate you guys sticking around <laughs> while I organize my cannabis collection here definitely subscribe and like if you want to see more videos like this including the other two parts of this series right here I don't want to make an entire hour and a half long video of me showing all these products. So I divided it up into three different parts. Comment down below if you've used any of these products and if you have any feedback on the products that you have used and or if you have any feedback on these videos. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.